Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at more prayers of the faith, and this time, the Miraculous Medal Prayer. The Miraculous Medal is an oval-shaped medal with an image of the Blessed Mother on the front, and a cross on a bar threaded through the letter M, with the hearts of Jesus and Mary below it on the other side. This design was given to St. Catherine Labor in a vision from Mary, along with a promise that all those who wore such medals would receive great graces. Ever since then, thousands of these medals have been created, and on the topic of this video, a prayer to Mary was written specifically about the graces of the miraculous medal, revealed from her. It's said in a few different ways, but all of them mean the same thing. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, a very packed first line, suggesting at least three of the four Marian dogmas, her role as the Mother of God, her perpetual virginity, and her Immaculate Conception. We dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. We make a firm commitment to honor Mary as the one who gave us the Miraculous Medal and who requests special graces for us from God. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us. The existence of the medal by itself should remind us of the love that Mary has for us, since she gave us this means of receiving special graces for our own sake, and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. Just as Jesus honored Mary as his mother, so should we. We should also obey her command to do whatever he tells you, found in John 2, 5. The medal, like all items with the image of the Blessed Mother, should remind us of our obligations in this sense. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection, and preserved in the grace of your Son. We request a blessing of protection from Mary, but also an important distinction is made here. All of the graces that Mary sends to those who wear the miraculous medal are ultimately graces of Jesus, which she passes on to us. She didn't create them, that's her Son's doing. O Most Powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, Once again, we acknowledge Mary as the Mother of Jesus, as a virgin, and we acknowledge the power that's proper to her in her identity as the Queen of Heaven. Keep us close to you every moment of our lives. This refers to spiritual closeness, and the closeness of being guarded by her from evil, but obviously not physical closeness. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. The connection between our happiness at death and our arrival in heaven becomes clearer when you know what a happy death means here. It means that we're made happy when we die by going to heaven, not that we were happy before we died. The two can sometimes go together, but that's not the purpose of this part of the prayer. Also, a union with Mary refers to being part of her family. Those who obey the commandments of Jesus and speak his word are also her children, according to Revelation 12:17. So, this is a prayer to request special help from Mary while acknowledging many aspects of her greatness and the greatness of her son. Next time, some traditional prayers to more of the saints, beginning with the man who helped raise Jesus, St. Joseph. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.